It's known as the school that works. Don Bosco Cristo Ray High School in Prince George's County is graduating another class of seniors today. Jim Handley shows us how the school is unique to our region and making a difference for nearly 400 students and their families every year. They're in school four days a week, but it's the one day a week all year long when they're on the job that sets these students apart. Not just any job, they're working in law firms, hospitals, and corporate settings, building relationships that give them a big leg up for success. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great, I just completed the... John Carlos Reyes is still in high school, but this classroom is a Bethesda CPA firm. Here he works alongside dozens of adults, and the bar here for trust and responsibility is set high. Typically, like growing up, we expect grown ups to be like a certain standard, but once you're actually in like the work setting, you actually just realize that like everyone's just like human, really, and you just like everyone just wants to get their job done, and everyone just wants to work together and be efficient. It's nothing new for John Carlos. Since the ninth grade, he's worked professional jobs in four different corporate settings building a resume many adults would envy. It's all part of the mission at Don Bosco Cristo Ray High School in Tacoma Park. This year, John Carlos is keeping databases up to date and meeting deadlines in the crunch of tax season. This is the computer where all the magic happens. Yeah. For example, I transferred, I transferred a lot of client information here to another database, so that was cool as well. And that's not easy. No, that's not easy at all. <laughs> Caldwell CPAs took on four students for the first time this year. They have the zero concern about technology. They're not afraid that they're going to break anything. You know, they're not afraid they're going to do something in a program that can't be reversed. And so they pick up very, very quickly. So like the amount of time that I have to spend or any of us in the office who've worked with the students have, have to spend explaining what to do in terms of navigating like a computer screen, it's non-existent. I mean, you show them and they're done. It's like, oh yeah, you know, it's amazing. Welcome to Don Bosco. One day a week, the money John Carlos and his classmates earn goes toward their private school education at Don Bosco High. And we're all set? Of course. Okay. The school's president, Mark Shriver, is a man on a mission. Almost every one of our kids is first generation high school graduate and then obviously first generation college graduate. Um, so these are kids that are hustling. These are kids that want to work, that are looking for an opportunity, that are trying to pursue the American dream. Galila Isaias is off to George Washington University next year. She's working in a law firm now for her 12th grade job, and she's already thinking long term. Galila wants to be a lawyer. I like to be committed to things that I'm doing, get it done on time. This helped me a lot. It teaches you how to get into the real world. Before the students take a job, they go through a Bridge to Success program, learning how to speak up and ask questions. Starting out, many had never taken Metro or tied a necktie. From 9th to 12th grade, it's a dramatic transformation. In that first job, they start to realize what others recognize, their value. They allowed me to have the confidence. They saw what I couldn't see in myself. And that really allowed me to keep pushing and keep pushing. John Carlos is now headed to the University of Notre Dame next year. I feel like that's what I've learned the most, is networking and just putting yourself out there and advocating for yourself. Seniors 23, nice. And so many of our students and so many young people, people drop in and out of their lives and they're not consistent. What we stress here is you gotta show up every day at work and you give that to your to the students and they'll you break down a lot of walls of misunderstanding or hesitation um, and those set in little tiny ripples of hope. For businesses that hire Don Bosco students, it can make financial sense. They aren't full-time positions, but they're getting highly productive quick learners. In the end, it's a win-win that keeps paying off. I'm Jim Adley, News 4.